I am joined by Titans Radio's very own Dave McGinnis. Coach Mack, there's a lot to talk about in this Titans training camp, and I want to start with Jeffrey Simmons. A lot of people have been watching him going into year two. What have you seen out of him throughout camp? Amy, the one thing that I've noticed is he's more comfortable. And the reason I say that is, you know, when he started playing, first of all, he had to overcome the ACL injury. Then he had to wear a brace. You know, he was not comfortable wearing that brace. And so to now, he looks much more comfortable to me. The other thing that looks to me is he's much more confident. He understands what's going on now. He not only came in last year wearing a brace in the middle of the season, but he also didn't quite know what was going on. And it takes a while to learn that center guard triangle. So I see a much more comfortable player this year, and I see a much more confident Jeffrey Simmons. Speaking of second year players, DeAndre Walker missed his rookie year. He's getting a lot of snaps at outside linebacker this year in year two. What has he done to impress you? Well, the thing that I like, he looks to me, he's gotten stronger than what he was when he first came in here. The other thing is he can't get too many reps in practice. I mean, all the reps that he's absorbing right now are going to do nothing but benefit him down the line. They're, they're playing him on both sides of the ball, which is, is, is really smart. They're playing on both sides, ends of the line of scrimmage, which I really like. And just watching him, he looks very comfortable day to day to day. So I like his progress. Last year, I thought, beginning with the second week of preseason, he was getting ready to make a move. Then he got hurt. I think he'll start making those incremental steps now. Jayon Brown and Rashawn Evans have been a nightmare for the Titans offense. They've showed up every single day and been making plays. What has stood out to you about their performance? Just their comfort zone with playing with one another. They are so familiar with each other now. I pointed out a play to you during the scrimmage at the stadium as to where Jayon, because he recognized the set, he moved his alignment up about another half yard. Uh, Rashawn backed up a little bit. Jayon shot. Rashawn was able to come over the top. Those types of relationships for guys that play behind the line are very, very important. They have to be able to communicate without talking to one another. I like the way they're working together now. Malcolm Butler missed the second half of the 2019 season with a wrist injury. He's back on the field this camp. What kind of an impact has he had on that secondary? Well, Malcolm Butler's a very physical corner, and that physicality gives some energy to the defense. The other thing that he brings, he's a veteran player, and you can tell that he was eager to get out there You know, after his injury last season. You could tell that when he started, he had worked all year to get ready, all the offseason to get ready for his moment, but his physicality is the biggest thing that he brings, and he understands understands what this defense is. When we have him on the field and a Dory on the other side, the defense is clicking. Let's stay in the secondary for a minute because Christian Fulton, the second round draft pick, has already started to make an impression out in practice. What does he need to do to secure a role for himself? Well, he, I think he's going to have a role, but what he's got to do, Amy, is he's got to get in, in, involved with the defense mentally. He's got to understand because this defense, especially in the back end, does so much pre-snap disguises, he's got to get in sync with everybody else. He's got the physical requisites to play, either outside or inside. He's got to get mentally tuned in to a defense that it's so multiple that he's got to be on the same page as everybody else. All right, Coach Mack, let's wrap this up with one final question. What does the Tennessee Titans defense need to do to take the next step in 2020? I think they'd probably like to be more consistent in the red zone with the defense this year. You know, they had some fabulous stops in the red zone, especially goal line situations towards the end of the year. I think that throughout the season, though, they look, they, they were just right outside of the top 10 in scoring defense last season. I think they'd like to tighten up their red zone defense this year consistently week one through week 17.